Hello everyone. In this video, we will see a real world use case of query business rules. And this video will be really helpful for you to try out an example of query business rule as well as you will know where and when to use query business rule. So when your client gives you requirement, you would know that I have to use query business rule. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. Also, if you don't know what is a business rule, I have an entire video on business rules where I have explained the basics of business rules and as well as all types of business rules, which includes the query business rules as well. Let's quickly jump into the use case. So the use case is as a system administrator, I need to ensure that only admins and ITL users can access in active records on user table. In the first part, we would like to ensure on our user table that only admins and ITL users. So the people who have these roles should be able to access the inactive records of user table. But for other users, they shouldn't be able to do that. And why do we need this requirements? So there shouldn't be any data integrity issues because if people are selecting inactive records in their catalog items while making a request or somewhere else, it may lead to issues because those are inactive users. So we would like to make inactive users available only to the admin and ITL users. You can maybe restrict it to only admins also. It depends on your requirement. So this is the logic how a query business rule works. So end user tries to query the table. So in this example, they are trying to query the user table. But before that, the query business rule runs. So here we can put a check that if the user is an admin or an ITL user or not. And if it is not, we will put a query in between the request. So we are trying to include a query even though the end user tries to fetch all the records. We will try to make the user only see the records which are active. If you think you are confident enough to build that query business rule, please go ahead and do that and then come back to this video and see if we have implemented in the same way and if your way is better than mine please let me know in the comments let's quickly jump to service now i'm in my service now instance i will go to business rules so i will type business rules under system definition so as soon as the list of this business rules open i will click on new and i will create a business rule so i can name it as restrict inactive users and then I will select the name of the table, which is sys underscore user table. So I will type sys underscore user and select this and I will click on advanced. If I scroll down, it says when to run. So I would like to run this on before and every time we make a query to the user table. So it will run every time when someone tries to access the user record irrespective of whether they are admins, ITIL, self-service user or they try to access it through the front end or the back end as well. Example through APIs. I will click on advanced and here I will put a condition to check the roles of the user. So I will just check GS dot has role and admin. So if you would notice, I have put an exclamation mark here. So it will check if it's not admin and if it's not ITL user, only then run the code. And I will paste the condition here again to check the ITL role. So ITIL and then I will add a query here, current dot add active query. So it will put an active query on the user table automatically if the user is not admin and is not ITIL. So I will click on save and as soon as it will be saved, we will go ahead and look at our user table. So I will type here users. So you can see there are 705 records and if I filter out the active records, we would see the number of inactive records. So that is two. So there are two inactive records in my personal instance. Now what I will do is I will go ahead and log in as a self-service user. So for example, if we look at this Abraham Lincoln user and if I scroll down, you would see he doesn't have either admin or ITL user. So we will impersonate this user. So Abraham Lincoln and I will impersonate this and I will click on all and I will try to find the user table. And if you see here, the count is 703, even though this self-service user is trying to access directly the table without using any query 
he is able to see only 703 records and he is not able to see those two inactive records and you are looking at few fields which are not available to this user that's because there would be some other ACLs protecting that but our query business rule is not allowing this user to see the inactive records and if this user tries to request a catalog item for example he would be able to search in these 703 records only he wouldn't be able to select the inactive records i hope this video was helpful to you and you learn something new about query business rule and this will surely help you in your interviews as well as your personal learning and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and if you have any comments or any feedback please let me know in the comment section as well thanks for watching the video